90% of all the video games that I've played in the past four years is World of Tanks. So yeah, I'm pretty much a kind of sewer of this game by now. That is, if I was actually a good player. But uh, because of that, I've decided to list my top 10 favorite World of Tanks vehicles of all time. Obviously, I haven't been able to play or unlock every World of Tanks vehicles so far, so this uh, list is subject to change. But uh, this is yeah my the, my ten favorite vehicles that I own as of the summer 2017, and I'm gonna begin the list with uh, an American medium tank that you may have heard of heard of at some point. That is, of course, the infamous, the one and only M4 Sherman. What else would it be? Well, the uh, M4 Sherman, well, of course, there are several variants in the game. Uh, th I personally like this one uh, the most, the uh, A3E8. Um, I prefer it with the 105mm howitzer because, you know, I love derp guns. Um, it was almost a toss-up between uh, this version of the Sherman and the, uh, you know, the one that before it, the tier 5 that's simply called M4 Sherman. But uh, I just find this version to be a little bit better to handle. Uh, I think that's the main reason I like it more. But yeah, here I am playing a battle in, uh, I think this city is called Ansk. I get the level names, the uh, map names confused all the time, and yeah, that was a pretty easy kill, to, you know, he had only nine uh, health points left. But yeah, that's the nice thing about derp guns, it's, you know, obliterating something from a very short distance. I I'll usually like that more, I uh, usually like that stuff much more than, uh, say, high penetration. Whoa! Something hit me there. Mm. But yeah, they say that the perfect tank incorporates uh, three main features. Uh, mobility, protection and firepower. And to me, the M4 Sherman is just one of those tanks that balances all three of these factors out nicely. Oh, God damn it! he got a shot at me first. Okay, but uh, with this howitzer, there's a good chance I may be able to uh, destroy him if I hit, manage to hit him. Okay, never mind. Somebody else uh, took care of that for me. What about the tank destroyer? Damn it! I'm just attracting bullets here like a magnet. Yeah, I'm gonna let the British guy take care of that. So the M4 Sherman powers away while the Brit while the British tank it takes care of the real threat. There's a good lesson about World War II to be learned here in this sentence. But now, jokes aside, from what other thing I read, uh, both the British and the Americans pulled their equal weight. It's, you know, very unfortunate that people sometimes argue like, oh, the British, they were all solely responsible for D-Day. Americans only had had uh, much less forces there or some shit like that. Yeah, I, I know, it's. I think the Americans had uh, much higher force concentration on D-Day, but uh, people often argue about that, but uh, as if all sides didn't have to uh, pull in all together in order to defeat the Nazis. Like, one uh, country could have done that on their own. It's ridiculous. Okay, so this is uh, the battle you're watching that's not my best battle with the uh, um, M4 A3E8. I'm probably butchering that, but uh, but uh, this is probably the best battle that I have uh, on footage. I know so far it's been kind of dry and I've been, you know, attracting much more bullets than uh, actually firing. But that's partially due to my slow... Uh, Reload time and uh, uh, yeah, f I'll firing right. But at least my team is doing a decent enough job and uh, winning this battle, kind of without my help. I've only done 109 damage so far. But uh, yeah, this is a perfect tank to drive around uh, in an urban environment. It navigates corners easily. You can turn it around quite quickly, and the turrets uh, turn speed is nice. Oh! 
Yeah. Oh yeah, I took out his track. Now the Kiwi 2 can finish him off. Oh wait, there's... No, wait. I'm gonna take care of the artillery. Oh yeah, I love killing artillery with the 105mm howitzer. It's one of the... Oh, god damn it, this guy again. Oh no, wait, that's another time. I thought it was the... Um, uh, cr I thought it was the crusader that fired at me earlier, but I just remembered that he got blasted by someone else, but... BOOM! Yeah! Okay, now I just gotta take care of the artillery. Oh, oh shit, 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 it's an F-304. Uh, oh, I hate those guys. Mmm, yeah! Take that. Okay. Now, as I said, I think I've listed uh, all the main reasons why the uh, M4A3 E8 Sherman is uh, my number 10 favorite uh, vehicle in World of Tanks. And it, like I said, it just handles very nicely. It's a very pleasant vehicle to drive and uh, fight in, of course. So I can really see how the Americans were able to uh, win the war with these guys and also see... Uh, I mean, the, the M4 did take part in a lot of conflicts after World War II. I mean, there was, uh, for obviously, Korea and uh, various conflicts in Israel and uh, probably many more that I can't think of at the moment. But yeah, the Sherman has been around. Well, thank you for watching and like and subscribe.